Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols and I'm here to bring you your Nichols Worth and today from Zondervan we are featuring the NASB and the NIV Heritage Bibles in the Passaggio setting, or is it Passaggio? I don't know, somebody tell me how to say it, I've never heard it said before. So anyhow, they both have clamshell boxes and they both have the same-ish setup. The NASB is actually a verse by verse setup and I don't know why. And the NIV is a paragraph setup. I really wish they would have matched them both. Uh, for some reason, it seems that Zondervan is really hesitant to put the NASB in paragraph setting. I don't know why that is. Maybe a rep will watch this and you can tell me why in the comments. So anyhow, let's go ahead and look at the NIV first. There is your NIV with a leather soft cover, clamshell box, nice brown, kind of a marbled look. There's my bum thumb, just in case you want to see that. Um, really nice spine. I don't like that they put the, the ISBN number on the back. I wish they'd do that like on the inside liner. That just bugs me. I don't know why. But anyhow, always, always some super fantastic ribbons. You're never going to go wrong with Zondervan's ribbons. And then check this out. It's got a nice little flop to it. I mean, that is amazing. Their leather soft is just incredible. I love it. It does have a paper liner. I wish they'd go more vinyl there just to kind of give it a little more support. It does not appear to have any reinforcement tape in there, but it could sometimes. It's really hard to detect. I love the little logo in there. Once you get into the Bible, you're going to see in the NIV a paragraph format. And check that out. That is, your eyes are not tricking you. That is dark blue lettering. The same is in the grace and truth. I didn't catch it in the grace and truth. I can't believe it. I knew something was different, but I just couldn't quite pick it up. So anyhow, you have your gold accents, your bold chapter numbers, Whenever there is a new paragraph, you're going to kind of get that bold number in the front there. I dig the dark blue letters. Here's what I don't like. Okay, here's an example of what this would look like with poetry and prose together. And you're going to see, it's just weird to me. Okay, so you're going this way, right? You're reading this way. And then all of a sudden, now you're going this way. So I don't know how to train myself to do that other than just kind of try this format. It does have some textual notes on the bottom. And then as you move into like poetic books, let's dive into a psalm here, or Job works. And you will notice like sometimes, look, there's only one word per line. So here's what, I don't know why they went this direction. Uh, I'm sure it's because of the way music and poetry is written, but I would have rather seen them go double column in the prose, single column in the poetry. But really when you have poetic settings, it's gonna kind of look funky anyway, but I don't like this feature about this Bible. So, you know, when you get into the New Testament, you will see that it is not a red letter text. It is blue. Everything's in blue. I kind of think that's a neat. Here's another thing I thought was cool. Instead of putting the chapter and uh, book reference on the top, they put it on the side, kind of in the column. It does rob you of a touch of column space because this has a fairly generous com uh, com uh, column space here. I, I would probably put that at maybe a little over half inch. So really nice there. Then when you get to the end, you got your maps. You've got your reading plan, and then that's it. So no concordance. I actually like that. So real quick, let's take a really fast look at this one. This is a beautiful cover. I love their blue buffalo cover. This one is actually edge lined. It does have a synthetic liner, and they do not put the ISBN number on the cover, which I really like. They put it where Jesus intended for it to be, on the liner. So anyhow, as you look, the art gilding on this is a little more grayish, because when you look at like the thin line that they put out of about a year ago, look at the difference between that gilding. That seems a little more blue to me. That seems a little more gray. Okay, you do have a perimeter gold right here. Uh, not bad corners for an uh, inexpensive Bible. And then when you get into the New Testament, you will see, again, it is blue letter text. And same deal, but this is a verse by verse layout and then it has your poetry here. That poetry, it just messes with me. Because like this is one verse, but it's broken into two pieces. That really messes with me. But you know what? I am sure there are some people that would love this and think this is the greatest thing ever. I'm just not that person. So anyhow, I do love the cover. I love the dark blue letter. Give us more of that, Zondervan. And I do love the single column layout. Um, I'm just kind of on the fence with the poetry. Anyhow, there you have it. Keep calm. Jesus on. This is your next word.